All right, time to mix it up a little bit. We're talking about uh, holiday cocktails this morning with uh, Dean Hurst, who is the man who knows it all, and uh, so happy that he has joined the team over at Donovan's uh, Meadery. And what a treat to have you here. Happy holidays, Dean. Happy holidays to you, Carly. So uh, you always are cooking up some uh, fun stuff, I guess, uh, in the <laughs> in the spirits department, cooking up stuff. What do you have for us this morning? How are things going over at Donovan's? Uh, going really well. Like whenever you open up a new concept, uh, you can have a lot of really good ideas, but you don't know how it's going to go over until the guests walk through the door. And I'm incredibly proud of this project because everything that w I launched off in the beginning of the beverage program, and we're in six or seven weeks now, has been going really well. So Aww. it's uh, exciting for me. Well, I am not surprised, again, because you are the expert, I think, when it comes to cocktails and thinking outside of the box, but still keeping some of the traditional uh, things, you know, that I think of people, you know, why they like the drinks that they do, but then adding that special twist. So what are you making for us this morning that we can get at Donovan's? Well, this program was all about just keeping it very simple. So today and speaking about uh, holiday cocktails and um, maybe not having as large of a gathering as you might have uh, experienced in years past, but you still want to have maybe someone over to enjoy a punch or maybe just a, a, a quiet chat somewhere. Um, I like making punch. So punch is something that is very easy to make ahead of time. So this is sugar and lemon peels, and you'll muddle that together a little bit, and the sugar will pull all the oils out. So that's oleosaccharum, and this is your base for the punch. Uh, from there, you would add How lemon How long do you need to, to let it. that sit, Dean? Um, this has been sitting here for not even an hour, and you can already okay. see that the oils are being pulled out into the sugars. So the okay. sugar will start to get lumpy, and um, the actual peels are collecting the sugar and starting to get kind of like soft. So that's the process. So it gives a lot of punch to uh, <laughs> a lot of punch to your punch, <laughs> uh, all your punch, and um, it, it helps just kind of coat the palate and make the drink feel uh, very warming, uh, which is one one thing I like about punches. As far as uh, liquors, you can use. Um, I pulled out a uh, pot still Irish whiskey, uh, a really great rum from Venezuela, which has a lot of punch and flavor. Keep saying that word. Um, and then <laughs> cognac, which is known for its pronounced flavor and texture, which also works great for punches. Um, you can mix this up ahead of time. You can let it sit for an hour. You can let it sit overnight. Um, take a mason jar and throw everything in there, kind of shake it up real good and let it sit. Um, and then you have a good base. Uh, the other thing I did was I took sorrel, or the a type of hibiscus flower, and they, it's dried in petals. So here's the actual petals. And I put it in some vodka. Or you could use gin or white rum, anything like that. And now you can make your mojito red or your, your gin and tonic or your uh, buck, which is another way of calling um, a Moscow mule. Uh, you can make it red. Uh, garnish it with uh, your lime wedge. Now you have red and green, so it's very holiday-like, but very simple again. It's not going to be something that's so out there. People might not like it. Everyone uh, will be familiar with a a gin and tonic and a Moscow mule and things like that. Um, but it's just kind of fun. Now, speaking of simple though, hibiscus flour, how easy or simple is it to find those? Where do you even get those? Um, I find these at Senwa because it's at the Asian market on Hillsborough. I go there all the time. But if you okay. go into any like Hispanic market or most people are buying things from Amazon right now, I'm sure you can find it there. It's not hard to find. It's just a dried flour like a tea. Okay. Uh, but it's mostly for the color. It does add a little tannin and uh, a slight bit of flavor, like a, think of like a dried fruit flavor to it. So it does make drinks more interesting. And I'll show you one real quick. Okay. Um, the punch, like to tell you how forgiving punch is, um, I actually made an oligo sacrum a while ago, um, probably six months ago, and it's still sitting in my freezer because I just froze it. So then all I have to do is add liquor and water to it, and I have punch. So oh, wow. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is just that red vodka. How pretty is that? That is. And then ginger beer. So here we are, mule. But again, I like using the word buck because when you say mule, people expect the mug. As yeah. Well, buck, which really is the same thing. Um, it just takes that kind of away from it. Let's put a little fresh lime juice in there. We'll give it a stir. Because you don't want the first sip to be all ginger. Yeah. And here you have like a nice holiday take on a drink that we're all very familiar with. I don't know what's more festive, the drink or that fabulous shirt that you have on with it as well. <laughs> well, yeah, I like, you know, I like Tiki, as uh, most people know, if they know me well. Um, and this just kind of jumped out of the closet this morning. So. Uh, and uh, I'm not... All right. I, hey, I real quick, Donovan's offering lunch now too, right? 
Yeah, so we're doing lunch now, which is great because it's um, uh, out in Riverview. There's not too many options for that, like yeah. sit down, kind of more formal lunch experience. Not that it has to be because we are still very much a casual setting. So it, it's a great option for Riverview, I believe. Now, these drinks that you talked about, is that something that we can get all of them at the restaurant these days? Yeah, we called a drink called, we uh, named a drink Buck Wild, and that gave us the freedom to use different seasonal fruits. Right now we're using blueberries, which okay. aren't necessarily seasonal anymore. But um, I wrote the program back in summer. I haven't changed it yet. <laughs> Apologize. Um, but it's also you can still selling. get good blueberries this time of year, though. You can, it, but it is selling so well, and it's really pretty, so we kind of left it as is for now. Yeah. Well, again, there is the address, the phone number, open for lunch now as well. And, uh, of course, the drink menu there, always fabulous, thanks to Dean, the beverage director. So good to see you. Happy holidays. Good to see you too, Carly. Happy holidays. All right. And, of course, we'll put all that on our website as well.